Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, we are going to install one of the best free contact form plugins for the WordPress website. Here you will see two plugins which are mostly used for the WordPress contact forms. The first one is Contact Form 7 and the second one is WP Forms. You will see that it has been installed on more than 5 million websites and this plugin is also installed on more than 5 million websites. Now there are some limitations in using both these free contact form plugins. Let me show you. This is the layout of the contact form 7 and if you want to add any field in this contact form you need to learn how the field works. You need to do it manually. Let's see if I want to add telephone number I can go to telephone number from here I can insert it but it will not look exactly similar to what we have here. So you will need to learn how this works how to add the fields how to change the settings in contact form 7 and it does not have drag and drop features it you will not see how does this look on the actual contact form unless you publish it so this is one of the basic limitation of the contact form 7 now let me go to wp forms and you will see that this form looks better than contact form 7 you will see how the form looks when you build the form if you want to add any field in the form you can simply drag and drop it here let's say i want to add check boxes i can simply drag it and drop it here and from here i can change the settings and i can customize this field now the limitation of this plugin is the phone field in any basic contact form the phone field is one of the required field but that is not available in the free version of this plugin in order to use the phone field you will need to pay or you will need to buy the pro plugin so this is one of the basic limitation of using WP forms. So that's why we are going to install another free plugin for the contact forms in WordPress. So here I'm on the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm on the plugins and I have clicked on add new and I have searched for contact form. Now here you will see the option ninja forms. So this is one of the free contact forms that we are going to install on the WordPress website and we will see how does this work and you will see that it has been installed on more than 800,000 websites. Click on install now and we will see if there are some limitations with this plugin. Click on activate. All right, so the plugin has been installed and in the left hand panel, you will see the option Ninja Forms. Click on it and you will see one default form is already created there. If you want to add new, you can simply click on add new and from there you can create a new form. Now we are going to edit this basic form. So click on it. Uh, these are the basic fields which are already there in the contact form name email phone message these are the basic fields which are required in any contact form in case of wp forms the phone field is not free so that's that is the limitation of that form now if you want to add another field in this form you can simply click on plus sign here and you will see the list of fields that you can use in this contact form so you have single checkbox, a date and time. Now here you can see that date and time is also not available in the free version. So if I go here and I want to use it, I can drag it and drop it here. So from here you can select date and time. Now if you want to add drop down box, you can simply drag it and drop it here. And from here you can create a drop down box. Paragraph is multi line text, single line text multi-select radio list is there checkbox is there and you will see the basic information about the user such as address city email first name last name country these are all fields available if you want to add html you can add html also repeatable field set divider let's say i want to add divider here so you will see a divider here confirm let's say i i'm going to drag it and drop it just above this one and confirm this is the confirm field let's go back and i have want to delete this one so i can simply go here you will see you just need to move the cursor here and delete this one i just click on plus sign again and you will see anti-spam is there if you want to add recapture you can add the recapture also i'll show you how to add it so as of now i'm going to drag it and drop it just above the submit button and we need to add the recapture keys. I'll show you how to add the recapture. Here you will see anti-spam. Let's see how does this look. 
uh, we will publish it and we will see how does this look all right so these are the fields available and i'm sure that these are the basic field required for any content form so let's go there and let's see if i want to customize it i can simply click on that field and you will see the name this is the label if you do not want it required you can simply disable it you here you will see display condition default value placeholder let's say so this is the placeholder you will see it here later if you want to add description you can add the description so this is the description let's click on done you will see the placeholder as well as the description that we entered here now after that we have email you can make it required or not required again you will see the default values the placeholder description if i go to phone you will see the same values again date and time let's say i want to make it market as birth date so you can change the label for this one date only time only birth date and time so if i select this one it will give the option to select the time also so these are the format 24 hour format or 12 hour format increment by let's say 30 minutes and let's click on done and you will see the time option is also there now next to that we have select that is the drop down here you can add different values for your drop down options one two three if you want to add more you can simply click on add new and this is the value four if you want to mark someone as default you can select that one if you want to delete you can delete from here next one is message that is the text area if you want to mark this as required you can simply go there mark it as required required and recapture for the recapture we will need to add the recapture keys and for the anti-spam we need to ask the question and here they can enter the answer let's say what is two plus two. all right now let's click done let's go to submit and uh, this is the submit button now here you will see the tab emails and action these are the basic settings for this form click on it now if you want to record the submission if someone fills up the form it will go to the record and you will be able to see the records on your wordpress website it is going to send the email to your email account also if you want you can record the submission on your wordpress website so if i click on it you will see the basic settings save all same none next one is email confirmation so if you want to send the email confirmation to the user then you can enable this option this is the email confirmation name the name of the action and uh, this is the subject that will be sent to the user and this is this will be the user email field and this will be the information that will be sent to the user next is email notification it will send the notification to the admin of the website that is you so whenever someone fills up the form it is going to send email to your email account so here you can see the email address is nothing but your wordpress website email address if you want to change it you can add your own email address there let's say i want to send the report to my personal email address so i can change that whenever someone fills up the form it is going to send the email notification to this particular email address if you want to add multiple you can simply add comma and after that you can add another email address there this will be the subject of the notification that you will receive this is the success message whenever someone fills up the form it is going to show this success message so let's click on done next is advanced display settings under display settings if you want to show the form title you can show the form title otherwise you can disable it if this box is checked ninja forms will clear the form values after it has been successfully submitted all right so this is pretty basic next is a restriction if you want some restrictions on the form you can add some restrictions such as only the logged in users will be able to fill up the form these are the calculations if you want to make some calculations on the contact form you can use the calculations form you can go to the plugin documentation and you will get more information about calculation in the documentation pdf submission these are additional settings so 
So you need this extension. So I'm not going to work on the advanced settings as of now. Click done. Now we are going to publish this form. Click on publish. All right, now once done, you can close it. And you will see the short code here. So we need to add this short code on your website. So let's copy this one. Now I'll go to one of the pages, go to pages. Here I have one demo page. I'm going to edit the page. I'm using Spectra page builder on this website. If you have any other page builder, you can use that page builder and you just need to add the short code on the page. So let's click on the plus sign and I'm going to use columns. I'm going to use this column and in the central column, I'm going to add short code So search for short code. And I'm going to add this short code here. Click update. Let's view the page. And this is how the contact form will look. You will see the name, email, phone, birth date, time, select, message, recapture. We have not added that one yet. And this is the spam question that we asked. Now, if I go here, let's try filling up the form. And it is going to auto fill up the form. I'm going to select the dummy date here. And let's select the time. Select to message. And I'm not going to work on recapture. Here I'm going to add the answer for submit. It shows processing. Please complete the recapture and correct the answers. All right, so we need to remove this one. So I'll go back to, let's go back to the form edit and I'm going to remove the recapture and for this we need to add the answer here that answer will be four click done click publish let's go back to the page refresh it and let me fill up the form again answer will be four Let's, let's try five and submit. It says incorrect answer. Let me try four and click submit. And you will see the success message form submitted successfully and confirmation was sent to this particular email address. Now let's go back to the Ninja form. And if I go to submissions, select the form and you will see one submission here. So you will see all the details, what is the message, the email address, phone number of the user who has submitted the form. So you will see all the submissions on your dashboard and it will also send email notification to your email address. Now let's go to settings here and under setting, you will see this option, recapture site keys. So in order to use the recapture, you will need to go to your recapture admin dashboard and from there, get the site key and the secret key for the recapture. Once you get those keys, you can enter the keys here, the site key and the secret key and click save settings. And after that, you can use the recapture field into your content form. Now, if you're using Elementor page builder on your website, then I have already published one video about the Elementor contact form and the met form, which you can use for the Elementor website. That is one of the best plugins for the Elementor contact form. If you want to watch those video, I'll give you the link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.